From the home office at Jones College, it's time for the top 10 comedians that would make good physics lecturers. So to be clear, these aren't my favorite comedians, and I'm not saying they're your favorite comedians. These are comedians that I think could teach some physics. I also haven't really ranked them 10 to 1. I'm giving them to you in the order of the curriculum. So we'll start with intro mechanics. We'll make our way through graduate school. So let's get started. Intro mechanics, it's important to have someone who can relate the physics to everyday observations. So of course, that would be Jerry Seinfeld. That was an easy one. Now let's think, also in intro mechanics, uh, you want someone who can relate the physics to current events. So I think for current events, I would go with Jean Cajon, French Def Jam comedian. Furthermore, in intro mechanics, we need someone who can do demonstrations, because you know demos illustrate the physics and, more importantly, keep the students awake. So I think there is only one choice for demonstrations. It's got to be Gallagher making a mess, putting himself in a little danger. What more do students want, really? In addition to demonstrations, sometimes you just want exhibitions. Sometimes you just have some physics-y object and you want to look at it, explain what it does, have a little show and tell. So for a little show and tell, I think we got to go with Carrot Top. Of all the comedians on this list, the only one I've met, Carrot Top. He's a nice guy, though. I, I, I like him. I like him. Uh, let's see. So moving on, once we're done with intro mechanics, uh, it's time for some intro e &M. For that, I think the whole thing could be handled by a great comedian who began his college career as an electrical engineer, and that is Gary Shandling. The hardest I remember laughing in my entire life was uh, watching Gary Shandling once. Okay, now we're done with the intro stuff. Now we're going to get to what everybody really wants to learn, and that's the quantum mechanics. So we need a comedian who's good with weird material, bizarre behavior in the quantum realm. Who do I think could really handle that? I think it has to be Andy Kaufman. Going back a few decades here, if you're not familiar, you definitely need to watch some Andy Kaufman uh, on YouTube. And I think, I think you'll see what I mean. But here's the problem. Andy Kaufman is never going to make it through a semester. Maybe a few lectures. After that, he'll be taking students out for milk and cookies. He would never make any assignments. If he did, he would never grade them. Really, it would be a disaster. So what we need is someone to take over who has Andy Kaufman's bizarre uh, comedic senses, but kind of more has her stuff together. So for that, it would be one of my favorites, Kristen Schaal. You may know her as a comedic actor, voice actor, but she was also a really funny uh, stand-up comedian before all of that. So I highly recommend that you watch uh, Kristen Shaw live at the Fillmore. You may thank me, you may not, or Google her uh, T-Mobile commercials. I don't know, she commercials for some phone company that were really funny. Let's see, so now we're done with quantum. Um, also later in the undergraduate curriculum, you're gonna be tired of all the approximations. You wanna do something real. You know, early on we have to do everything like we got to do the trajectory without air resistance and we got to do the quantum oscillator in a perfect harmonic potential. And the reason is those are the only systems that we can drive nice simple equations for. When you get to real systems, you got to do numerical methods. So who's going to teach numerical methods course because they're good at talking about things that are real? I think it has to be Chris Rock. Definitely my go to guy if it's got to be talking about difficult real topics. Uh, then you take some um, special topics courses, probably, you graduate, you go to graduate school, and in graduate school you might get to classes that are topics that are so recent and modern and current that some people might not even think they're physics. There might be a respect problem. So who are we going to go with to teach a class who has experience not getting in respect? It has to be the great Rodney Dangerfield. Now you would think Rodney would be number one on any list, but we have to be a little bit open-minded in learning physics, and we have to know that there may be new topics from the future. So for that, we need a comedian that kind of seems like he's from the future, and he ends the list. It has to be Julio Torres. <laughs> 